life with my husband is all about eating well. While we may have disagreements about what constitutes eating healthy, we both agree that being able to go out and catch our own meal fits at least one definition of wellness. Our home sailing vessel in Esperado is becoming a pretty serious construction zone. So Eddie Belto and his wife, patrons of Sailorama, come to pick us up in their fishing boat to get some essential protein for the week. It's the usual three lines in the water. We all take turns steering carefully so as not to tangle the lines by making too sharp of a turn. Robbie tries his best not to hog the hand line and reels and give everyone on board a chance to pull in a catch. You've got your fish cleaning workshop going on here. When we return, we still have enough daylight hours in this so-called short winter day to cook some of our fish in the new solar oven. Remember our old Gosun solar ovens? We managed to smash two of the previous ovens accidentally, but hopefully third time's a charm. And it is such a charmed little device. We get some salt, pepper, and simply olive oil up the bonito. in and out of the solar cooker in less than an hour for a delightfully basic meal. Another amazing gift we hauled back from San Francisco was the larger version of the Gosun as well. We have the big one. Yeah. We have, and we have the little sport again, courtesy of Jean Mondo. Which we tested out on a separate date with Robbie making himself some chicken and plain grilled veggies for me. Salt and pepper. More pepper. We decided to go with simply olive oil, salt, and pepper for this test recipe also. Let's put the inside, The gauge and dial on the larger Gosun are a nice touch that let you know if the oven is getting maximum sunlight and lets you know exactly when it reaches cooking temperature. However, the cooking takes much longer in the big one, so we ran out of sunlight to film the results that day. As the needle always started moving. But with more fish to get through with our friends and patrons, we bust out another cooking method or device that needs to be broken in. Some marinated bonito on Eriberto's barbecue. Mm. El and some fresh fillets to be cooked with only lime. Put it out and left it on the boat. Catch that fish, it's perfect. That sounds like the same, I'm gonna steal your... Wow, they smell good already. Oh yeah. Great marinated uh, stuff, uh, my friends. The smell of a nicely prepped barbecue and a properly marinated fresh catch with some local Mexican veggies cannot be beat. If you ever find Robbie showing up at your house to cook a meal, you will notice that he gravitates towards the cookware and the kitchen knives first. As our friend Raul found out as we commandeered his kitchen for the day, he inspects the cookware, carefully assessing the best characteristics of whatever knives are available. 
he can usually find something useful, even if the blades are not perfect. That's being adaptable. Uh, like the be flexible like the knife, Robbie. It has to be some... I, I, I enjoy some the... flexibility in the knife. I mean, it has a pretty nice shape. I don't know why they stooped the, the, so much. Why they gave such a hump up here. I don't know about that. It feels good. It's pretty comfortable. The, they're pretty thin. They're pretty flexible. I like these. I like the handle most of anything. I think they have a beautiful handle. Probably gets a little slippery when you're covered in blood, but still loses edge faster. That's it. A good knife, a good chef knife. You sharpen once a month, maybe. In Mexico, we have found it's easy to get good fresh vegetables at a decent price. Something I really like to indulge in is the healthiest brown rice, also very cheap and packaged appropriately for boat storage in small plastic bags at most local supermercados and corner stores. And then of course there is our little staple bonito fish, which is not commercially harvested and so is noticeably more abundant than the game fish such as dorado, wahoo, and big tunas all year round in these parts. And so my chef husband cuts carefully and fries lovingly to create some meal that he thought up on the spot in a foreign kitchen. And I can assure you that the outcome was wonderful as usual. Mm, the rice came out really nice. The smaller uh, fire is perfect for cooking the rice. Mm. In the future of this boat, we are thinking of opening a charitable restaurant. In the world is, what I mean by charitable, a non-profit restaurant that goes around the world, providing food to people. And if we can pay, leave donations, and if we can't pay, eat for free, I guess, something like that. Also, disaster relief of some kind. Uh, we've seen that in many places in the Caribbean, every time a hurricane hits, there doesn't seem to be food or water for people. So, well, this boat in particular, because of the giant pilot house in the center, which is a giant space, which we are sort of uh, unsure what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, it's so gigantic. We, we, we left a big hunking space in the middle of the boat, which we don't see what could, it could serve besides making a giant kitchen. I really want to do it. I don't see why not. I am still a little iffy about the, le the legalities of owning a restaurant on the water in a foreign country on a boat. <laughs> the gas system, the I guess we need to have like fire system on board to like all those things. Those things cost money and I guess eventually when we get the moolah to do it. Uh, what inspired this idea was mostly the last hurricane, uh, Hurricane Dorian that devastated Bahamas. It was very hard for people to get food or water or any, any of the amenities in those areas. So I thought, hey, if we had a boat ready with a nice big kitchen in it, we could just sail to the Bahamas in a couple of days and then we could just feed all those people. Well, a lot of people, I don't say all. <laughs> Do we know of anybody else who's doing a similar project like this? Or can you think of anybody who's doing a similar project? On a boat? Yeah. Uh, no, I've heard of restaurants on boats before, but they open and close pretty often because 
the, it's always the tax man, the permits, the legalities of, of the restaurant which tend to shut it down. Was the pizza pie restaurant was uh, successful? I think I heard that they had to shut down because of one of the hurricanes. Yeah. And so I think the the main thing that we think about is first priority is to get the boat movable and yeah, sailing. You can't can have a, a restaurant and a boat and then the boat's no longer a boat. The boat has to be able to move and get out of hurricane paths and yeah. it's still a sailboat. It's not. You might as well just put a few tubes together and. Just build a floating platform. Yes, I'm very comfortable on boats. I grew up on boats and I enjoy cooking a lot. And I guess I might as well put my two favorite hobbies together and make something out of it. I enjoy my fishing and I enjoy my cooking. I decided why not combine, I guess, the three things that I enjoy doing, fishing, cooking and sailing, and do one thing out of all three.